examine the abdomen. Inspection. 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 Yes. Ten. Ten things in inspection you have to do it. First, the shape of the abdomen. Shape of the abdomen. <laughs> Normally, normal abdomen, this is the chest. This is the chest. You go down. This is the normal shape. If you look on the chest, the abdomen is become down. Okay? This is a normal abdomen. While if it is more above the above the level of the chest, yes, this is <laughs> if it is above the above the chest, this is distended. A distension, generalized distension. But sometimes uh, there is a localized distension. Okay? Therefore, there is a normal shape, there is distended shape, and there is a scaphoid, emaciated scaphoid, even the peristalsis of the stomach and intestine, you see it. This is the shape of the abdomen. The second part of the examination is the umbilicus. Inverted normally. It might be flat normally still. While if it is everted, it is indicating there is an increased intra abdominal pressure by fluid, by anything. Scar. We look at the third one, we look for the scar. The scar, you should know the scar. The scar in the abdomen, what they call this is called subcostal scar. Median, paramedian, the grid iron scar, suprapubic scar, etc. Then, paramedian on the left side, paramedian on the right, and if every scar there is indication for it, whether the scar is old, I mean it mean it mean old one, who is still black or white, or red, who are new. We look for 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 the blood vessel in the abdomen. Normally, there is a few blood vessels in this area. This is normal. Few. One, two, three, four, a small vessel in the area. Abnormal vessel is that vessel is come in this way. From down below up. This is abnormal distended vessel. And probably around the umbilicus, which is not seen. Rare, very rare. Carpet medusa. Okay. And then shape. Lamblicus, the blood vessel, the scar, stria, and the hair, and the movement of the abdomen, whether it's move or not. Move with respiration. Then we ask the patient to stop the breath to see if there is a peristalsis in, in the abdomen, usually an obstruction. There is a biloric obstruction, you see the peristalsis of the stomach. And the other things, we look for an iguinal region, for the lymph node, we look for the genitalia for abnormality. There are for 10 things in the abdomen you should look for by inspection. Palpation of the abdomen, we have, we have superficial palpation and deep palpation. Superficial palpation, we start in this way, in one hand, Yes. From suprapubic area, and we look for the if we, we look for the face of the patient to see if this is a pain pain or not, is suffering or not. This is the superficial palpation. Superficial palpation is for big tumor, big tumor yes. and for tenderness, generalized tenderness. Cyst. Big tumor and tenderness. While deep palpation, this is this is the way of deep palpation. We look for a small tumor and deep-seated tenderness, okay? This is palpation. Superficial, deep, and specific palpation. Specific for the liver, specific for the spleen, specific for the bladder, we saw it, is it? Specific for the gallbladder, specific for the kidney, specific for aorta and para-aortic lymph node, okay? Therefore, we're starting the liver palpation. Liver palpation is by one hand or two hand. More specific, two hand. This is the way. Why? 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 Why?
افتح حلقه خذ نفس وخذ نفس. This is the way. خذ نفس. We go with the inspiration. We waiting for the liver to to hit my fingers. Okay. Let us see. I'm going to show you the way the mojo. Okay. And this is the rough test. This is the rough test. This is the rough test. The rough test for palpation of the liver. Okay. This is the way palpate the liver. Palpation of the spleen started from the right iliac fossa above the umbilicus. Go to the splenic area. This is the way. Put nafas. Nam. Put nafas. Put nafas. If we palpate the spleen in this area on the right side, it is huge. A huge spleen. That spleen crossing the midline. While if we continue palpating and we feel the spleen in this area, this is moderate. And if it is just below the costal margin, is the mild spleen. If we feel the spleen, we should look for the notch. It is superficial. We cannot go above it because it's underneath. And also, uh, on percussion, it is dull. Not like the kidney, it is tympanic because the kidney above it intestine, tympanic. Gas of the stomach also. This is the way to palpate the spleen. If the spleen is not palpable, to be sure, turn your patient on, on the right side. And this is, this, his knee is this way, and this is his hand, this way. This is the way to examine the spleen in this way, for mild spleen. My alignment was bleed. Put the vessel to the face. Put the vessel to the face. Put the vessel to the face. Normal sibling. Normal sibling. We put this equation. One, three, five, seven, eleven. Nine to eleven. One for the thickness of the spleen, three for the width of the spleen, five for the length of the spleen. This is the normal spleen. Seven ounces, ounce, which is equal to twenty-eight gram, and nine, ten, eleven. Anatomy of the spleen. These are ribs. One. Three, five, seven, and nine to eleven. This is the normal spleen. If it is enlarged, it become below below the eleven. It's been in the abdomen. Enlarged spleen means two to three times its normal size. Arjana. Then we examine the liver. We examine the spleen. We look now for for what what for the kidney. It's near it. This is the this is the area of the kidney. Usually impalpable kidney, unless a thin thin person. In thin person, this is the way to palpate the spleen. Dirushak al hayat, palpate the kidney. Sorry, and I push this push down, and the, my hand push it up, and then we ask the patient to take deep breath. خد نفس عميق, and you feel the kidney slip between your two two hands. And this is how to how to feel the the kidney on what on the left side, the bladder. We examine the bladder. We examine the gallbladder. This is the area of gallbladder. Usually, it become tender when it's inflamed, and this is the area of the gallbladder. You cannot go above it. The liver you cannot go above it, and then you have to percuss. Therefore, abdomen inspection, palpation. Percussion of the of the abdomen. Percussion of the abdomen usually for tenderness, for dullness, and for dullness of of of, of the liver percussion uh, to to see the span of the liver. Auscultation of the abdomen for the gases, for uh, bowel, sound. bowel sound, yes, for bowel sound, and for. <laughs> Uh, brewy in the, in the artery of the renal artery stenosis. Any question?